Hey everybody, it's Brian Jodis with Parents for Educational Freedom in North Carolina. I'm outside the North Carolina General Assembly. We're just steps away from where we had our final of three ESA information session events. You know, we've been traveling the state over the last few weeks. We've been in Wilmington, High Point, and then here in Raleigh. We'd love to take you along and show you some highlights from our tour. We truly believe that, that education, making sure that the families are well informed, <coughs> Uh, and that they have time to process that information, they're going to be, make the best education, educational decision for their child. I am so for choosing the school that your child goes to. When you go off to college, you get to choose. We don't get that option. I am very pleased that it is starting to become something that needs to be looked at. Your child shouldn't be stuck in a school that's not suitable for your child. You have one chance with your children. The goal of education my mind and the thing that we're obligated to do under our constitution is to make sure that everyone reaches their potential. We've appropriated three billion dollars for the 2018-2019 uh, fiscal year and hopefully once we kind of work through the, the process and the administrative procedures we'll be able to expand that so we can provide these opportunities for more kids. I just wanted to be able to open our doors for you folks, be open our, to open our doors for more of the families in the area that maybe aren't aware of the Piedmont School, and let them come in and hear what you guys have to say. The lives and the families that these grant programs, I've seen them, I've seen them save families. For me, I was out there in a sea by myself and didn't understand a lot of it. So thankful, you know, um, I come across Quan Graham and she's been very helpful and luckily um, she's answered a lot of questions and helped me coming tonight. Uh, I wasn't sure what I was getting into, but um, it was very helpful to come and educational to know what's out there for, for my son that I never understood before. I think that the more that we can do to empower parents and empower students with choices, uh, to find educational solutions that best fit your individual needs is something that policymakers should be pursuing in this state. I think this is really good and really informational. I've seen with the Disability Scholarship, they've tweaked that over the years because it's a new program and I anticipate some rewriting and some tweaking to this program and if I can help to influence that, those changes in any way, um, positive, then I hope to do that. So I, I think these are, are great informational sessions. A really cool event inside the globe here at the Nature Research Center. And that wraps up what's been a great three stops across North Carolina talking about the new education savings accounts. For more information, you can always visit exceptionalednc.org. We'll see you next time.